What's up everybody, my name is Spencer and this is American Electrician. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about some basic hand tools that you're gonna to need, uh, especially to start off your apprenticeship. Now we will go over the, the level of importance per group, so it'll go from like first day of the apprenticeship all the way to things that are just notable, that there's something that you might wanna get in the first month or two months, especially depending on what exact part of the trade that you're in, whether that's residential, commercial, industrial, telecoms, anything like that. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. On this channel, we do electrical how-tos as well as gear reviews, such as we're doing right now with hand tools, power tools, and gear storage. So if that's something you guys are interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna list the tools that I carry every day personally. Now, I'm gonna put a link to all of these tools in the description, along with a corresponding tool that is maybe more of a beginner level if you have a low budget, but still a quality tool. Um, but these are my favorites. Some of them are slightly more expensive than the version that you might be able to get at Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere like that, right? on hand if it's like one day from and I'll leave a link to those so that you guys can find those but these are the ones that I prefer above any other type of hand tools all right now first thing is the way you carry your tools now this bag right here is a TP5B and this is what I carry a small amount of hand tools in especially if I don't need a lot and I usually carry it with my backpack which I'll leave a link in the description to that video but for now, anything will do, all right? It could be something like this, or it could be even just an open tote bag, really, or a backpack, if that's all you have. It really doesn't matter just to get you started and to see what you want, and to see also what the guys around you carry, because that's a huge thing, is to look at the guys that are in front of you and to see how they're doing it and to see who does it the best, what they're doing, and to almost copy what they're doing. Now I would call this the first day section of the bag and these are just like the bare essentials of I wouldn't go to a job site without these items. And the first one is not actually something that I carry because I don't care for them, but it's a five in one or 11 in one screwdriver. Um, you can get these just about anywhere, Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards. This is a Klein five in one. And basically the bit pulls out of the front and you're able to use it as a number two Phillips, a flathead, a nut driver, and then it pulls out here and has a small number one Phillips, a smaller slotted, and then a different size nut driver. So that just enables you to carry five different tools in one. So if you're just starting out and you don't know exactly what you need, this is a great purchase. Also in this section of first day items, a pencil and a marker. And then the last item I would say is a pair of wire strippers. You are not going to be able to do any type of wiring without wire strippers, um, especially on your first day. So these are hugely essential to what you're going to be doing almost every day. All right, so next we're gonna go over the things that are not day one things, but they're definitely going to be needed. You're going to need a level. Um, it just, everything that you do, especially that's visible, has to be straight. So whether it's boxes or conduit runs or setting a panel or anything you do has to be level because people are going to see it and you're being paid money and your employer's being paid money. So things have to be straight. And so a level is super, super important. Then I would say diagonal cutters are huge. Next are a good set of linemen's and pliers are one thing that you really can't cheap out on. You wanna get a nice pair of linemen's and they're going to cost you like 30 to 40 bucks. Um, and they're just a good investment. It's really going to be tough if you're trying to cut wires all day with a dull pair of linemen's. And I'm not saying you have to break your bank, 
but you do need to invest in your future. And so a good pair of linemans are gonna be something that you use pretty often. A pair of channel locks. These are the Knipex brand and they have the push button. Um, but there's also the tongue and groove version that are really nice, but these are gonna be great. You're gonna need these to grab pipe. You're gonna need these to grab um, nuts and bolts and stuff like that. And so these will legitimately help you grab just about anything. So these are really a big deal. You're gonna use these often, especially in a commercial environment. Super, super important to have. This is a voltage detector. And so when you turn this on, you put it on a wire and it will tell you whether it's on or off. Now these things aren't 100% accurate all of the time and so it's important that you rely on your journeymen who are supposed to be keeping you safe anyway but to help you out with that. Now these are my two screwdrivers that I carry with me all of the time uh, and it's a number two Phillips and a quarter inch slotted. Um, I like the single screwdrivers so much better and especially these Wiro drivers, the tips on these are phenomenal. Um, but the issue that I had with the five in one or the 11 in one was that it wasn't magnetic or it didn't have these tips. And so now Klein has actually made an 11 in one that's magnetic, which is super nice. Um, but I still like these with the, the thinner shaft, uh, even with the insulated tip around it. And you do not have to have insulated screwdrivers, okay? I choose to carry them every day because why not have the extra protection there? Um, but it's definitely not required. And if you don't, it's not a big deal at all. Most people do not. And then last are a pair of needle nose. Next, we're gonna talk about some items that are just notable. Uh, these are things that you might not need right away, but they're something that you either are going to want or depending on what side of the field you're in, you might use pretty often. So the first thing, that I would mention is the pliers wrench um, or an adjustable wrench. Uh, these are my favorite version of an adjustable wrench. And so these are just for nuts and bolts and stuff that you don't want to uh, mark up, but they have flat jaws. You pinch it, you turn it, and it works on any type of nut uh, or bolt or anything like that. So residential guys probably aren't gonna use this super often. Commercial guys are gonna need it. I would definitely say that a second pair of channel locks is going to be huge. Uh, and this is so that you can tighten uh, or loosen at the same time with your other pair of channel locks. Now, in the commercial field, this is like huge. We use this all the time for running conduit with compression couplings uh, and or running rigid. So these are definitely something that you're gonna want eventually. We have this seven in one nut driver, it has seven different sizes so it, it saves you from having to carry an entire set uh, and this is the one that i carry with me all the time and it actually has a magnetic uh it's got a magnet in most of them and also hollow shafted so you can run a nut on up onto a bolt and, and this is the klein um i don't know of anybody else who makes one that's got the hollow shaft i think linux might but I, this klein one is definitely my favorite last but not least this is a beater screwdriver. You, you use this to tighten up lock rings, to knock stuff out of boxes, um, to adjust stuff. If it won't fit, you can put it in there and kind of pry on it a little bit. And this has definitely been my favorite beater. It's a Weera and it's great. Now, big ticket items are a drill and impact. These are notable for a reason because it depends on your company on what they supply and also what they require you to have. See, eventually everybody in the trade is going to need a drill and impact. Um, and I always like the Milwaukee Fuel. They're fantastic. For the most part, you'll be able to communicate and talk to somebody from your company before your first day, right? So they'll either have a tool list or if it's a smaller company, you'll have somebody that you can get in contact with and say, hey, what do I need to have on the first day? And don't be afraid to ask because they, people who are hiring you, they want you to ask those type of questions and they want you to be prepared. So that is something I totally suggest doing is being like, what do I need on the first day? It's a great way to get in and that way you're prepared and you know you're prepared. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And if there's anything that you carry in your tool bag that you think an apprentice should know about, go ahead and leave it in the comments. 
I'm ready to hear about it. That wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.